Hello everyone, this is Rushlock, and in today's video we're going to talk about hype trains and how to set them up for your Twitch channel. So, the default settings for them are less than ideal, and so we're going to walk you through how to get them fixed and set up to make hype trains more effective on your Twitch channel. For future videos and help like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, and if this video helped you, let us know in the comments below the video. So, when you go to twitch.tv slash dashboard, you can then go to the upper left hand corner and open up your, your menu here, and you're going to go to settings. Open up settings and go to partner. Once you've gone to partner, you'll be here. And you can leave this open or you can close it, whatever your personal preference is, doesn't matter. But we'll leave it up for the video's sake for visibility. Then we're going to scroll down to hype train. Open up your hype train settings. Make sure you have uh, hype train enabled. Uh, a lot of times when I'm troubleshooting, I'm assuming you have default settings uh, in place, but just in case, you can toggle hype trains on and off depending on your channel's needs. Uh, there's also a, a setting for enable autopilot. I would pretty much never recommend it because you should probably have more agency and understanding of, of how to set the, the numbers for your hype train more than letting Twitch's automated system do it. But that's my personal view on it. Next, we have the kickoff threshold. This is the number of people, different users, required to start a hype train. Uh, I've always got mine set to three. Uh, there are nuanced circumstances where you might want to change this number up, but for the overwhelming majority of users, leave it at three. That way you can have your hype train frequency uh, maximized. And the next is level goals. I guess we should go back to go threshold and specify that that is three different users uh, cheering 100 bits, uh, gifting a sub, continuing a sub, uh, using their prime, uh, things of that nature. The three monetized interactions through Twitch will kick off your hype train. So level goals. There are multiple levels for hype trains. Again, for the overwhelming majority of you, leave it at easy. Especially with the somewhat recent change of them removing the cap on level of hype train, or at least ex ex dramatically increasing it past level 5. Um, there isn't much reason to come off of the easy setting. And I guess depending on how you have your reward structures, if you have incentivizations like, hey, Chad, if we have a level whatever hype train, we're going to do X, Y, and Z thing. You know, incorporate that into your own design and your own implementation. But in terms of uh, giving the the viewer the, the most uh, their experience or the, the perceived impact from their cheers and gifted subs, uh, you want to keep it on the lowest setting possible so that every interaction from the, from the user in chat has the biggest percentile effect on the hype train progression overall. Uh, you can experiment and move around different uh, different difficulty levels if you want, but I'd recommend leaving it at easy. Especially if you're if you're new to this and you're not sure what to set things to. Uh, the next one, and this is the important one, cooldown period. It does not default to one hour. It may default to two. I don't know what the number was. It's been too long. Uh, but I saw a user recently had theirs at two and they didn't know why, so maybe two is the default. Definitely set that bad boy to an hour. Um, you basically would want a hype train available to fire off all the time. And understandably, you you also can't have it you know, at a cooldown of zero hours or zero minutes or whatever, because then they wouldn't be special. You would oversaturate um, the experience of a hype train. But hourly, hourly seems pretty good. So make sure you knock that down to an hour. If you raise it, make sure you have a good reason and a good understanding of why you're raising it, because you're going to make your hype trains less frequent. And, uh, and again, you, you're going to want to have a reason for doing that. I think there's customization options that are more uh, visually oriented and, and be much more subjective from user to user. But these are the big ones. Cooldown period, uh, difficulty or, or level goals, uh, and kickoff threshold. And of course, making sure you have it enabled. So do not enable autopilot. Make sure you have hype trains turned on. Lower your kick kickoff threshold, lower your levels, and lower your cooldown period for more frequent and more interactive hype trains. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Again, if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, post down below the video, and we'll see you in the next one.